Although nukes have been around since the beginning of Fallout 76, they still remain a viable option to do in the game even after Wastelanders dropped. Not only are treasury notes available after completing the Scorched Earth event, after fighting the Scorched Beast Queen, this is the new currency in the game that allows you to acquire gold bullion. Launching a nuke is also the only way to spawn the Wendigo Colossus, the new cryptid legendary enemy introduced in Fallout 76 with Wastelanders. Running and clearing a nuke silo could be a pretty tedious process, so I decided to put together a video for you guys on how you can clear a nuclear silo in Fallout 76 in under 10 minutes. Let's get started. Before I get into the guide, I want to point out that in order to do this in the quickest way possible, you're going to need two things. The first one is maxed out lockpick and the hacker perks. And the second thing you're going to need is any power armor of your choosing with the jetpack mod attached. If you run a silo before, then the beginning part is pretty self-explanatory. Just find a blue card as quickly as possible, get scanned in, and get yourself through the laser grid. Once you get past the laser grid, I equip my power armor and then put on the necessary perks to get through the next area. You can quickly bypass the entire reactor meltdown area by simply lock picking into a level 3 door and hacking into a level 3 computer. Once you're inside the terminal, you can initiate system cooldown. And this part is actually the most important. So the first thing that you're going to want to need to do is stepping out of your power armor and putting it into your inventory. Once this is accomplished, you're going to head straight into the pile of overturned shipping containers, pop over them into this little crevice as far as you can get. Then just simply pull up your pit boy, go into your apparel inventory and select your power armor in order to place it. Using the mouse wheel or the L and R buttons on a controller, you can actually set the distance of where you want this power armor to be placed. This acts a lot like placing a item in your camp. And if you're in the correct spot after a certain distance, you can actually place your power armor over the barrier. And if you have the jetpack mod installed, the back of it is actually extended out more than a traditional power armor frame. And in doing that, this actually allows you to enter into your power armor, thus teleporting over the wall. Once you're through, you can just quickly jump out of your power armor, put it away, and heading forward, you can see that you have just entered the hallway after the room where you repair the mainframe cores and heading through and up the stairs, you enter the final part of the nuclear silo. From here, again, it's pretty easy and self-explanatory. Just clear the room, initiate launch prep. And what I do is I jump up onto these small boxes and I go crouched. And I'm not sure if this is confirmed or not, but I found that I usually don't encounter any enemies during the launch prep if I'm up here and sneaking. Now, I don't necessarily know if this has to do with this place being cleared before I entered in, or if the area is not registering that anybody's there, so they're not spawning any enemies. I'm not really sure, but in this specific video that I recorded, I only killed two enemies and one of them was just a level one iBot. And there you go. Once it's done, you just simply set your destination for the nuke and have some fun. And this takes a little bit of time to get used to, but if you are very quick or you're good at mitigating damage, then you can usually run right past these enemies and you're not going to die. And as you can see, that little wall glitch is actually pretty insane. You skip the most annoying part of the nuclear silo and... If you're looking at this video and you're worried about getting banned, I don't think that that is a fear by using this little glitch. It was actually in the game before and a lot more widely known and people were using it constantly and they seem to have patched it out, but with the jetpack mod, you can actually still do it. And nobody got banned before. This isn't something that necessarily breaks the game. Yeah, you kind of skip through most of this end game dungeon but you're not necessarily causing anybody harm by doing this and instead of just patching this out and forcing players to go through it the normal way i think they can really tweak the nuclear silos to have different experiences we have three different ones one of them is near the raider location and one is near the settler location 
If they really wanted to, they can have Silo Alpha in the middle of the map and have the other two silos be completely different missions that you have to do for the factions. Maybe that way they can make this little dungeon more interesting and people wouldn't be trying to find ways to skip past the annoying parts. I don't know, that's just my opinion. But anyways guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for checking it out. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below if you guys actually knew about this glitch or not. I know it was more well known back in the day and had gotten patched out, but I don't know how many people know about it now. People have been launching nukes more often, but I feel like if more people knew about this, it, they would do it even more because it really doesn't take that much time out of your day. But anyways guys, thanks again for checking out this video, and I will see you in the next one. Now I dream, come true, come true.